Let's get the hell out of here. That right there is probably the longest grind I've ever had to go through. This task probably took me over 24 hours. Time to start Slayer. All right, Konar, we've <laughs> patiently <laughs> completed your task and did not receive a single brimstone key. Please give me something good. Fire Giants? I mean, we don't have a, uh, a rune skimmy. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Hey, Shine Spirit, thanks man. Appreciate the support. In fact, I appreciate the support from all of you. And if you're watching and you are not subscribed, definitely feel free to click the subscribe button. It's free and you'll be able to see more of my content in the future as it comes out. Gotta say, now that I've started Slayer, I'm having quite a good time actually playing the game. I was looking at my stats and I'm actually almost base 60s. Hey, there's a range level. All right, I figure I might try just bringing some prayer potions here and AFKing a little bit because every time you bury some bones, you'll get some prayer points back and I totally plan on burying the bones. I got prayer potions to spare because I'm a harvester boy. I'll let you know how it goes. I think instead of agility, I'm gonna use this book on runecrafting. Quite frankly, I'd rather do winter Todd than do runecrafting. At least for these smaller ones. Maybe if I get a bigger XP lamp, I'll use it on that. But for now, we're gonna use it on rune crafting. Oh, boys, there it is. The rune skimmy. We already have base 70, so I was planning to just slay until we get a whip, but we got the rune skimmy, so that'll be really nice. We're gonna have to train some strength anyways, so. And there is the fire giant task complete. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. I switched to melee for the last kills. I I kind of ran out of arrows. Let's go use these brimstone keys. First one. Um, 80k? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> and 35 diamonds. That's, that's really good, actually. All right, next task. Greater demons. All right. All right, guys, this is the first time I put this set on, but holy shit. Look at that flex man and you know this kind of takes me back to the f2p days dude slaying those lesser demons in the karamja volcano my full rune eating lobsters and swordfish man those were the days i actually decided i'm gonna switch to a prayer setup so uh, i'm gonna get some shade bottoms i guess oh 70 defense nice nice got base 70 stats for the, the good old melee finished off the greater demons i Definitely should have brought a teleport, but that's okay. Um, in total, we got 47 hard clues to do. Uh, we're probably gonna just keep grinding out some Slayer a little bit. Whoops, um, I totally just got the task without even recording. But we got Temple Spiders. Easy, easy. We'll just keep this train rolling. Okay, it's time to use this Groovy key. I have, uh, it's kind of silly that someone's leaving those Chaos Runes right there, but what are we gonna get? A crystal key. Completely useless. Just, I'll just leave that right there. There we are, task complete. We got seven hard clue scores from this one. Let's go get another one. 137 dust devils. Okay. I'm very tempted to use my chinchampas on that. So while I was rendering a video, I switched to mobile and just mining some coal. And I got another book of knowledge. So I went ahead and hopped on here just so I can show you some more room crafting XP. Base level 30s. All right, to get things started, I'm just gonna open one easy clue just for luck. And then we're probably just gonna get, um, well, we're probably just gonna do all of these and then show you the loot afterwards. So let's start things off with the easy casket. Also, we finally got this cactus seed, so uh, I don't have a seed dibber because I have two spades in my inventory, but uh, we can finally get on with our farming contracts. You got this, Gibson. You got this, Gibson. Take him out. <laughs> Take him out. All right, our first farming contract after like, like two weeks. Finally, we can complete it. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and let's take a medium. Ear it. Well, I just planted that lantodime, so I guess we'll have to come back after this, uh, clue scroll step, but... Snapdragon, lantodime, those are both good. Dwarf weed. Snape grass. And I took out eight watering cans. Uh, very smart. 
Okay, so we have left ourselves with 5k coins. Don't worry, I have a lot of alcohols in the bank. But we just bought 30,000 feathers so we can keep fletching some arrow shafts because I will need a lot when I finally unlock the ability to craft broad bolts. So let's get back to the clues. I'll probably just keep doing these hards until I run out of arrow shafts, honestly. Also, if you're using rune light, here's a quick tip. If you zoom out all the way like this, you can click farther than you can on the mini map, which is really nice if you're making arrow shafts. Also, no one told me this e earlier either. Not that I asked. <laughs> if you get the winter top BIS clue right here, and you get a Lizardman Canyon right after that, it's actually faster to run over here and use the minecart to get to Lovakenj. Another tip is that when you're in the canyon and you get Burning Man, definitely teleport to the Inferno. It's a lot faster. I wouldn't recommend doing clues unless you got charges, so. There is 78 fletching. You can now make dragon crossbows. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. I'm going straight for that magpie. Ah, really? Could have been like anything else, man. A cactus spine. I'll have to admit that, that I got my hopes up for that one then I got crushed. You know, I think I'm going to open these 35 caskets because I'm so tired of using iron arrows to kill everything. And I feel like if I just get broad arrows, it'll be a lot faster to do these clues It'll be a lot faster to do Slayer. And we have the possibility of upgrading some of our gear right now for Slayer. Anyways, let the clue opening festival commence. <gasps> oh, Zamorak Helm. We needed a God Helm for that prayer bonus, so that's nice. <laughs> Our second pair of Bandos Chaps. <gasps> there we go. Enchanted Row Bottom. These are basically Mystic Row Bottoms. That's amazing. <gasps> yes! The boots! We needed some boots. There we go. Can we get a coif in these last 10 caskets? That is the question. That's awesome. Hold on here. Wow. That is amazing compared to the blue dragon hide shield that we had before it's a plus two difference but this also provides a prayer bonus and it's just better defense all around okay six more and last one yeah nothing pretty lackluster honestly we didn't get a single coif um so i'm still gonna be repping this uh this stupid ass <laughs> This stupid regular coif. So while I was cleaning out the bank, I realized I have 957 law runes. Right now I'm going to go alk all of this and we will see how much we get. That's the end of that task. We are getting the heck out of here. Sorry who for whoever is coming back. I'm not gonna finish those. <laughs> that was a pretty productive task, I gotta say. 87 range, almost 88, and we got 69 Slayer. It's pretty cool, there's it just one task. And it took uh, about 20 minutes. So what do we got next? That's some more Fire Giants, okay. I'm cool with that. I didn't even realize that I had gotten a dust battle staff. Like I saw it and I was like, oh, just a dust battle staff. I didn't realize it was a, it was a one in 4,000 from the dust devils. The only other way to get one is from the superior slayer monsters, which we don't even have unlocked. So 
It's pretty rare. I wish I could have saved this RNG for raids or for Lizardman shamans, but you know, I'll take it. It's a unique and it's uh, also a league task. Yeah, let's go open these brimstone keys. Arrow tips, okay. And some more diamonds. So broad arrows are 360 coins. I am very tempted to buy those. Very tempted. So I think I'm just gonna melee this whole task because I kind of want to do some AFKing. And eventually we're gonna need some strength levels when we get the level to get a whip. Hey, another rune scimitar. Okay, it's kind of pointless now, but it's a free 15k. Just got 70 slayer and 60 prayer recently. There's 80 strength, another 80 combat skill. Um, I'll probably just keep going on strength until we get a whip, honestly. Yeah, we're doing sulfur liver... Livers? <laughs> we're doing sulfur livers, uh, I mean lizards. And these lizards, um, I've never done before, but they drop a bunch of ore, and I like that. And the medium clues. I like that too. And task complete. We just got 90 slayer points for that one, because it was our 10th task. It's pretty awesome. Only 120 more and we will unlock the broad bolt fletching. What's the next one? Greater demons. Yeah, we can do that. Okay guys, I've had enough of these steel arrows. This is all we have left. We still have a bunch of hellhounds left. We still got a lot of Slayer tasks to do, and I'm not using these Iron Arrows for Slayer. No more. So, we are taking our cash and we're gonna go buy some freaking Broad Arrows for an outrageous price. This better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. You know, I love the XP drops, but I'm getting so tired of smithing my own arrows. I can't wait till I get Broads. Here's 80 fletching. Can now make magic short bows. If we ever lose this one for any reason, I guess we can make another one. Hey, a brimstone key. It's been a few tasks since I've seen one of those. And there's the last one. Got a nice little hard clue scroll from that. And let's go get the new task. And we got banshees. Um, can't say I've done these in a long ass time. So let's, uh, I think you need, I think I'll need uh, some earmuffs but I have to get some GP for that. So let's open our brimstone key real quick. <gasps> oh, sharks. Um, I'm fine with that. That's some free cooking XP. And as you can tell, uh, still a few levels off of 80. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Before we do that Banshee task, I think I'm gonna take a break and just do some farming in the meantime. And there's 83 farming, two more. And we can enter the highest level tier without needing to boost, which would be very convenient because I'm not making any more garden pies. Hey, hey dude, you're not gonna have any hard feelings about this, right? Just one kind farmer to another. You understand how it is. Times are rough. Okay, I was able to make a few more prayer potions, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this Banshee task because my farming contract is to grow an Eret seed and I was an idiot and I used all my Eret seeds. So now I'm just hoping that I get an Eret Seed from this. And it's my Slayer task anyway, so I may as well do it. But uh, yeah, no luck yet, but uh, I'm staying hopeful. Would you look at that? As soon as I spoke about it, the Eret Seed came into existence. Um, I'm gonna leave and go get started on some farming real quick. I'll come back to these later. Okay, I just logged in and you wouldn't believe the Eret that we were growing has died. The one Eret seed we had has died. Like, what are the chances of that, man? Oh my god. Yo, so I totally just saw a magpie impling out here. I'm, I'm hoping no one saw it. Yep, I'm thinking someone already got it. Lame. And there's 75 Slayer coming in. All right, that is the Banshee task completed. I'm picking up this cactus seed because you never know what contractor need it for. So let's head to the battlefront. Okay, the next Slayer task is... Yeah, no. No, 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 no. The next Slayer task is... Yes, I'll, I'll do those. I don't really like fire giants, but 
There's no way in hell I'm going back to Blue Dragons. Okay, we're all coming up on the last set of feathers here. Wow. Okay, we have feathers, we have arrow shafts. It is time to fletch all of these into headless arrows because eventually we'll have the ability to fletch broad arrows. Okay, I have 89k left to get the level for crafting at 73. But the question is, will this be enough blue dragon hide leather to get me the level? I sincerely hope it is. <laughs> okay, we didn't quite hit the level. We still have 15k away. I actually found some silver ore in my bank. And we also have to make this ring of life for the medium clue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That should give us the level that we need. And here it is. 73 crafting, which means we can now craft red dehyde van braces, which is our ticket to unlimited crafting XP in the good old fourth host engine. It seems like a kind of random goal to go for, but I mean, I don't even have red dragons unlocked from Slayer. It's just nice to know that once I do get those unlocked, I'll have that method already ready to go. And as you'll notice, I have a bunch of headless arrows. <laughs> To make so the reason i'm doing these clue scrolls is that i have a bunch of headless arrows to make anyways and i think this is the best time to use them while i'm doing this instead of just sitting at a bank i'd rather just be doing some clue scrolls or something i would be saving up these caskets you know so i can stack them and then show them all at once considering i don't have the adamant plate body or the adamant full helm for the medium clue um, i may as well just open these at as i get them so i can hopefully get those out of the way we got a lot of adamant stuff, but uh, not, nothing that we need. I feel like I'm getting so many XP randoms from this. I don't know, maybe you guys are getting these as just as much as I am, but I definitely feel like they're, they're I'm getting them a lot. All right, here's another medium clue. I accidentally hit it because I thought there was another clue, but uh, we got adamant plate legs, which we already have three of them and no plate body and no full helm. So, yep, see, this is the clue. I mean, I could go check. I don't think I have the Adamant Plate Body, though. I'm pretty sure the only way to get one is from Medium Clues. So. This step always sucks, but the nice thing is I'll be getting a ton of fletching XP just from this one step, so... I mean, I guess, I guess that's something. Some more Adamant Plate Legs. And another casket. Hey, That's what we needed. Goodbye, Purple Cape. We are never wearing you again. And another casket. And another clue scroll. <gasps> oh, we got them. We got both of them. Hell yes. Okay, and we got a scroll book. That's some free Watson teleports. We can now do all the steps for the medium. So that means we're gonna finish off all of these. I'll, I'll stack them up and then we can open them all at the same time. Just keep fletching, just keep fletching. Okay. 18 medium clue caskets. Let's freaking do this. Ooh, I got some only trails cosplay going. Hey, Gothic Smiter. That is very good. And we got two more. Lots of green dehyde. Um, actually, the main reason I was doing those is so I can get the cloak, so... I mean, it all works out in the end. So now my prayer bonus setup is gonna be 21 prayer bonus, which is pretty sweet. Um, I kinda look like an idiot, though. Okay, we are back here in the fire giants. We got another task going. I gotta say, I'm really liking this AFK time on these fire giants. I was here earlier and then I had to go work and then now I'm back here and it's still not packed. And there's 85 strength. And there is the fire giant task complete. Let's get the hell out of here and get a new task. Task number 15, let's go. Dust Devils, that is a great task. That is a chinning task. So let's go get our chin set up. Ah, we are here again, back at the good old Dust Devil chinning. My favorite thing to do right now. Also, shout out to Sir Pokes a lot. 
he i didn't even say anything i just walked in here and he's like i'll move enjoy so that was really cool of him and there's 90 range okay this should be the last iron dragon and we got another pair of runite limbs on the last skill all right we got another task coming up what do we got konar oh jellies i like me some jellies I'm tempted to unlock that no we need ah uh, we need the broad arrows don't we we need the broad arrows be patient angus just be patient nice i just found a free world and let the task begin this is a great task we're gonna get a ton of clue scrolls and a ton of range xp and a ton of slayer xp so i'm i'm fine with that there's 91 slayer did i say slayer there's 91 range as you can see we're getting some insane xp per hour up here we're getting 1.6 mil range xp and 400k slayer which is pretty damn good honestly well that was the task also they just updated runescape this morning and apparently all the points are auto claimed so I was planning on staying at 5,000 until the very last day, just to keep it a mystery. Right now we got 6,890 league points. So as it stands now, I'm currently right above the rune tier. So uh, I hope I can at least stay in the rune tier, but I don't think it'll be too hard. I think it'll be harder for the people who actually chose the Xerix Focus Relic. It'll be harder for them to earn points. Yeah, let's get, um, let's open the Brimstone Keys first. Some gold ore. That's good. That's really good. That means we can turn all of our gems into stuff. And <laughs> some more gold ore. Okay. I didn't like it that much. I was just saying, I was just trying to be nice to the gold ore, man. God. <laughs> okay, this is actually a decent task because I have a 1 in 200 drop rate to get near it seed. So, uh, crossing my fingers. There's 79 Slayer. Moss Giants complete. No Irrit seed. But I didn't really expect to get one anyway, so let's head back. And we got Banshees again. That's good. That's a really good for the Irrit Seed. So we'll just unlock this chest real quick. <sighs> so congrats to Kiri for getting a freaking whip. He literally just got his first Abbey Demon task. And as you can see... <laughs> He got pretty lucky. Since we got a bunch of mage levels from that Iron Dragon task, we're now 78 magic, and we can now cast the Resurrect crops. I actually thought the level was earlier than this, so we we kind of lucked out. Hey, there we go. That's a hundred league points. I I wish I knew that. I'm thinking about it. You know that Yurit seed I planted a while ago, and it died. Yeah. Um. I guess I could have just waited. You know, this Snapdragon Seed is very beautiful, but I would much prefer an Irrit Seed. And we got a 300 points. Yeah, I don't know what my luck has been, but like the first 20 kills, I got four Brimstone Keys. And then the rest of the kills, I got zero. Pretty much the same thing happened with scroll boxes as well. So, I mean, I could unlock the Broad Fletching right now and then since it's fire giants it's it's not a big deal that i have to do those you know what yeah i'm gonna let's let's do that one key for some palm tree seeds good two key for the three key diamonds i'll take diamonds i will take and two dragon fruit seeds okay so broad bolts the question is how much xp do these give Holy mother of God. <laughs> I wish I could fletch these on the go like you can with bolts. Like you can just do, 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 do. Unfortunately, arrows are probably going to be better. I might make some bolts as well, though. All right, literally, I just blew my entire cash stack on broad arrow tips. Got 23,000. Looking good. No more steel arrows. I figure it'd be kind of cool to show you guys, but I'm getting 7.8 million experience per hour if I just sit here and fetch these broad bolt or broad arrows. And that just about finishes the broad arrows that I bought and we got 93 fletching. That was almost too perfect. <laughs> so the total, we got 23K broad arrows that should last us indefinitely, but we're not done. We're still gonna make some more, so. Okay, I got 20 hard clues caskets and we're just gonna open these up because I don't have any money <laughs> to buy some more broad arrows, so. 
We may as well just do these as we go. So I'm gonna open these 20 right now. Ooh, yes. Yes. You know, I was hoping I would get one of these. This wouldn't be an Ingus video without some sort of pirate cosplay. That's what I'm saying. <gasps> Ooh, a white cavalier. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah. That's probably the coolest looking one. Cause I don't even I don't even think I've seen this in the in the main game. What is this clue? What is that clue? Last two. Eh. 